All right, starting off this week. Okay, so you're going to see us revise a lot of our GPS products. Uh, the GPS module, the ultimate GPS module we've been carrying for like a decade, no longer, no longer being manufactured, but we found a drop-in replacement that is a little bit taller. It's four millimeters tall instead of like two or three millimeters tall. Um, however, it's pin compatible, and so we were able to drop it onto our devices. Uh, the only thing that's a little different is it's a GPS plus GLONASS. It's like it uses, it can also receive uh, the Russian GPS system. So that might be good. You have a lot more options for satellites to get data from. Um, but it's still very fast, very low power, uh, up to 10 hertz uh, update rate. A couple of the commands that you use to detect the um, antenna change slightly, but it's on the data sheet. Um, and this is a great drop-in replacement. So thankfully we'll be having all those GPS units all those GPS products that were getting out of stock, they'll be coming back into stock with this new version. Next up. Uh, you have a Trinkie, but you want to use it with your latest MacBook. Well, we've got a USB-C to Type-A converter. It's great for anything that uses Type-A uh, USB. You want like to plug into USB-C. Like a Adafruit key. But it's great for Trinkies. So you can just slip on the end, plug it in, and you're good to go. Next up. Um, okay, we also have a couple of new key packs. So this is a pack of 12 kale red linear keys uh, this goes with the uh, macro pad kit so we got them in a pack of 12 so it's very easy you don't have to worry about like two packs of 10 and whatever you get a full 12 so you're good to go we also have singles of kale black linear and kale blue clicky um I so I, I think i put both of these together no it's okay because what yeah. the linear is these are black linear they're a little stiffer than red and then the blues are clickies but they are yeah. uh, sold in singles uh, we're going to try to have 10 pack and singles so that way you can get just the number you want. Or if you have yeah. a, a Neo key, you don't want a whole 10 pack, you just want one. Um, so we'll also get singles of the reds and the whites eventually. Then we have these. We also have these are uh, the clear translucent DSA keycaps. We stock these in packs of 10, but now we also have them packs of 12. Why? To go with the Neo key, uh, sorry, the. Um, the macro pad kit that's a 12 key macro pad um so you can still get these in packs of 10 but if you're like i need 12 and i don't want two packs of 10 this 12 yeah. pack is ready to go a nice symmetric translucent clear dse key caps feel great and snap onto any cherry mx compatible switch All right. and stars of the show tonight besides you lady Ada, our customers our community our staff is the macro pad first up the bare okay. bones one Bare bones. Why are we stocking the bare bones kit? Well, there's a lot of people who are in the keyboard community and they just want like the bare PCB because they want to add their own key switches. They want their own rotary encoder knobs. They want their own enclosures. No problem. Fine. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. This is just the bare bones macro pad PCB. It's fully assembled and there's no soldering required. It's got, uh, it's a macro pad. So it's got 12 mechanical keys that you can plug into those slots. They're KL sockets or compatibles. Each one has a Neo pixel that goes underneath. You can glow through the key. On the back, you've got the RP2040 from Raspberry Pi. It's a great little chip, which we can run Arduino or CircuitPython on. Eight megabytes of flash that go with it. Uh, each key is connected to an individual GPIO, so you don't have to do any matrix driving. It's just like one key per. Uh, we also have a 128 by 64 monochrome OLED, which I think is just it's super fun if you want to display what you're typing or have some feedback or overlay details. There's also a rotary encoder that we solder in. It's a detente rotary encoder, so it's like 20 detents per revolution. And there's a push button, push button in. There's also on the back a uh, little speaker. So the speaker is um, eight millimeters. It's not like a high resolution speaker, but it's good for like little beeps or sound effects or tones or audio feedback. So you want to know when you type something, it'll maybe say what you typed or give you a sound effect. Um, I will mention that at the time of this video, QMK does not support the RP2040 chip itself. And so if you're like, I need to use QMK, you can't at this time. One day, QMK will probably support the RP2040. When it does, we'll provide some firmware definition for it. But right now, this is for Arduino and CircuitPython use only. Okay. Next up, we have a kit that comes with a little bit more. This is the add-on pack. So you've got the basics, right? And so you got the, you could also get the 12 pack of keys that we talked about. You can get the 12 pack of translucent keycaps, but maybe you want like a little enclosure type thing. So this is a, two PCBs and a little bit of hardware that you can add on to your macro pad to kind of make it more fully ready to go. Um, so there's a, 
this is the what we call the enclosure or the or the mechanical part. So there's two PCBs. One of them is a mechanical key plate. That's the part that has all the holes cut out. So that it doesn't have any mounting holes, but what it does is when you snap in the keys, they kind of all hold each other in place and it keeps them really nice and solid. It works very well. It's a, it's a stabilizer plate for just 12 keys. And then you've also got this really beautiful bottom plate that's designed by Phil B with like a cool like NASA space theme, like Vera Rubin quote, got some sort of like Voyager probe type thing going on there, space planet. We're going with space theme for the Maco pad. Um, you can reverse it either way, whether you like the black and white monochrome or you want like the golden probe display type, whichever, you bolt onto the back. Uh, it also comes with four bumpers, so to protect your um, desk, the four screws to attach the bottom plate, and then a rotary encoder knob. So this is the add-on mechanical kit. Okay. And here it is. Okay, but let's say you're like, I, I too complicated. I don't want to get separate keys and key switches and key caps and whatever. I want the whole thing. We get the starter kit. Chances are you want the starter kit too, unless you're like a mechanical keyboard person and you know that you're like, no, I want to mix and match. So you get the whole thing. Um, you can make your very own three by four uh, OLED and rotary encoder macro pad. We looked at a lot of macro pads. They're all really awesome. They're great. We just wanted something that was kind of like a little bit of everything. You've got you know, a smidgen of rotary encoder. You've got a, a smattering of keys. You've got, you know, an OLED display, USB-C, RP2040 chip controlled. So it's got kind of a little bit of everything, um, but it's really easy to reprogram in Arduino or uh, CircuitPython, which is what we're supporting with this. And I think it'll be neat. You can use this. Um, CircuitPython has great MIDI support. It's got keyboard support. It's got mouse support. You can, you know, use our, our new faster key scanning core in CircuitPython 7 uh, to make um, your own macro pad. And of course, the OLED display, you can use that as feedback to uh, display what the keys are, are, you know, what they do, or if you have an overlay or functionality, or you just want to have Bongo Cat going, go to town. So this is our first like macro pad keyboard thing. We've been doing keyboard projects um, using individual keys, but now we've got something all in one that's no solder that's ready to go. So I'm very psyched about this macro pad. Maybe I'll show it on the overhead real fast to wrap up the show. Okay, so this is really close. So this is the 128 by 64 monochrome OLED. And you can see here, I've got the uh, rotary encoder. You can detect when it's pressed as well. And then over here, each key has a uh, north facing um, NeoPixel. There's a lot of debate. Should we do north or south facing? Well, north facing one, hold on. Uh, and then, you know, each key here can be detected individually. You can press as many or as little as you want. It's very fast. Uh, the OLED is SPI, so it updates very quickly. Each key is individually connected to a GPIO, so, you, you know, you don't have to do any scanning. You can just quickly check if uh, it's uh, held down. And then uh, loader encoder add-on, and then all together, it's a very beautiful uh, silk screen on the back, thanks to Phil B. And we... And this was your quote, Vera Rubin. You suggested it? Yeah. And uh, someone said in the chat, the Rubin Observatory is starting to open uh, and do some work soon, so it's very on time. Yeah, and you get this really cool, like, gold. Cool, this is just decorative. The back, the bottom plate is mechanical, but we didn't want to go with acrylic. We wanted something a little more sturdy, so we did FR4, and this, this yep. shows you how it's put together. So there's the bottom plate, the standoff that's built into the macro pad, and then this is the mechanical support plate that keeps all the keys uh, nice and sturdy. So there you go. We've got our very own Keeb. That's new product.